Just a quick video today on the Tesla app for iOS devices version 4.3.1. This update adds a few more features. Version 4.3.1 is a bug fix for version 4.3.0. It came out so fast that I didn't even get 4.3.0. And here's the list. Customize quick controls on vehicle homepage with a long press. Adjust cabin overheat protection. Widget improvements. And sentry mode live camera access on supported cars in select countries. The big change is the ability to customize the quick controls with your personal preferences. Start the app and do a long press on one of the four quick controls. You can choose four commands out of the list of eight. You can also arrange their order too by dragging and dropping where you'd like them to go. Here I'll demonstrate by changing some of the original quick controls I had to a new selection. Press save to get out of this menu. Regarding adjusting the cabin overheat protection, I couldn't find it anywhere in the app where this can be done, so I'm thinking it must be a bug. I even had the cabin protection turned on in the car to see if this was the issue. Maybe in the next update, I'll find out what this actually does. Looking at the widget, I could not find anything that was obvious with the improvements. Possibly there are just under hood changes for stability with no added features. Sentry Mode Live Camera Access is now supported in more than just the United States. However, oddly, I could not find a list anywhere of the countries where it is now working. Let me know in the comments below if you are outside of the U.S. and if you have access to this feature. I'll give a quick demonstration of how it works. Press here to get a front camera view. Here for the left side view. And here for the right side view. And finally here for the rear view. You can also press the horn and flash the headlights buttons down below. By the way, for these app updates to work, you need to make sure that the car is updated to version 2021.40.5 or newer. And that's about it for this iOS Tesla app update 4.3.1. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.